Hi, I am Kiana, a member of the GivePulse team. Today, I'll walk you through the features available in your user dashboard. After you log into GivePulse, you'll be directed to your user dashboard. Our dashboard is a single stop from which you can access many features that you will use as a volunteer on GivePulse. The Overview tab is a hub for information on GivePulse. You can find overviews of engagement across the platform, such as impacts, registrations, and groups. As you continue your journey on the platform, these sections will dynamically adjust to reflect your involvement, such as joining new groups, attending classes, and participating in fundraisers and events. On this page, you can add an impact and quickly find GivePulse user tips. If you run into any technical issues, the contact support button is located conveniently on the page. Underneath the summary section is alerts. In this section, it will display items that need your attention. For example, it will alert you of any information request if needed, or in my case, two disputed impacts that need my attention. Below the alerts, you'll find a small preview of sections for each of the categories along the top, registrations, groups, surveys, and more. You can access a menu of options to view, update, or take any other actions related to the displayed information. You can click on each section to access more details about each module, for example, in the registration section, you can manage registration as well as view upcoming events. The great thing about the dashboard is that it is fully customizable to you. Clicking the square icon in the upper right hand corner of each section gives you the ability to drag the sections in your preferred order. For example, if you want registrations to be your top priority, you could simply hit the button to drag it to the top of the screen. The Groups tab is where you'll find all the exciting information about the groups you're a part of and their events. In each group you are a part of, it will display your involvement stats, such as total number of impacts recorded, total number of hours completed, and financial contribution. There are a few different filters for sorting through your groups, such as membership role, causes, sustainable development goals, last impact recorded, and impact sharing. So, whether you're interested in exploring new opportunities with your groups or just tracking your progress, this is the page where you will find that. The Registration tab is a hub for all of your registrations. Here, you will find a list of events that you have registered for. If you are looking for a specific event, use the search bar at the top of the page. You can view registrations with our calendar view. This makes seeing your volunteer schedule easy and convenient. With the registration tab, you'll never miss an event and can effortlessly manage all of your registrations. If you would like to see the impacts you've made, click on the impacts tab. This section acts as your personal archive, showcasing all the meaningful actions you've accomplished. In this section, you will find a list of impacts you have completed. You can generate a summary report for impacts. Sorting and filtering options are available, making it super easy to organize and find the impacts that matter most to you. You can filter them by date, causes you've supported, and the specific skills you've utilized. So, with the Impacts tab, you have all the tools at your fingertips to track, organize, and manage your impactful actions. The Courses section lists all of the courses that you are enrolled in. On this page, you can see the enrolled semester, course credits, and more. Throughout the duration of the course, you can add impacts. This is convenient for students as you can see your courses and volunteer opportunities all in one place. To access and review your surveys, simply head over to the Surveys tab. This is your go-to place for all things survey related. Here, you will find surveys that you created as well as surveys that need to be completed. To the right of incompleted surveys, there is an option to view the survey draft or message the admin. If the survey is completed, there is an option to download survey responses, take it again, or message the admin. With the Surveys tab, managing and reviewing your surveys is a breeze. As your engagement with the platform grows, you will be able to see more sections listed here, such as applications, donations, and more. Remember, should you explore other areas of GivePulse and navigate away from the dashboard, you can always return by clicking on your name or the little profile icon at the top of the screen and hitting Dashboard. This will bring you back to your user dashboard.
Thank you for watching our walkthrough. If you have any questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team via email at support at